Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to my channel with a brand new video of the Fortnite config file settings in chapter 3 for every PC build. So guys, if you have a low-end Madden or a high-end PC, or even if you are a competitive player and you want to get more FPS, fix the FPS drops issue, fix your stutters and the high input delay issue. So guys, make sure to stick with this video till the end because this will help you to guys get rid from all this issue. So, so guys, let's go straight into it. So guys, first of all, you need to download this best config file settings chapter 3 pack on your PC. There is two way. First is the manual way you need to change every setting which I'm also showing you further into this video and the next way is just simply guys you can download this pack which I will give you uh, into the descriptions link down there you need to simply open up the link from descriptions and that will take you here onto my uh, this website and from there you need to open up this first article which is the uh, Fortnite chapter 3 best config you need to open up this article scroll all the way down click on this download button and once you click so you need to simply uh, complete a simple task you need to subscribe my channel turn on the bell notification and then you will get this guy's game your settings file on your uh, pc by simply clicking on this download button so once you download this pack here on your pc now what you need to do now you need to open up the location of the fortnite config settings so for opening that you need to go in your windows search type here run open up this one and here now you need to type your app data and click ok this will directly take you here onto this app data section go into this local fortnite game save config windows client and guys there is our default fortnite game user settings file so how to guys use this file it is really simple you need to simply open up this winrar file and simply drag it here into this folder directly and click on this replace the file destination but i'm not doing it because i will show you manually how you can also do it so therefore you can guys uh, do it by yourself whenever guys you want to so here is our game user settings file you need to make sure first go into the properties and make sure this option which is read only is uncheck because this is checked so i just uncheck it now you need to click on this apply and click ok and now you are able to guys change any settings in your game settings so now right click here go for this edit button and guys here is the interface or all the guys coding of the game user settings file the settings which you need to change on your this file guys make sure to follow it properly so first thing that is the motion blur you need to guys always set it on to the false this is by default also give you option in your fortnite game settings so you can also do it from there and guys but this settings which is the show grass this is not guys available in your fortnite settings so therefore we need to change over the settings from true to false like this now here is our show fps make sure to turn it on or set it on to the true and guys next here is the settings for the latency tweak and actually you can also change the settings from your in-game fortnite because in real this is the nvidia reflex latency and guys you can also change the settings in your fortnite so therefore we are leaving it next guys let's go for the next settings and you need to guys scroll down and guys there you will find out and other settings which i'm gonna show you right here so guys next here is settings for the allow download high res maps so guys you need to make sure to set it onto the false because a lot of people are getting the packet loss issue and guys reason is guys this option which is this automatically start downloading the map of the high texture in your background and therefore you can also get the packet loss issue so therefore make sure to set it onto the false next settings which is the allow low power mode because this will guys save the power of your pc and guys that matter the low fps in your fortnite so therefore make sure to guys turn off the settings or set it onto the false by default it is also already i have set onto the false, which is the low power mode so guys next here is the allow video playback guys this is uh, something i don't know you need to guys set it onto the default next here is the allow multi-thread rendering and guys make sure to turn on the settings and guys if you are not using the settings right now so guys i don't know what are you doing right now in fortnite so guys make sure to turn on the settings or set it onto the true from your game settings now let's go for our next settings now you need to scroll all the way down and guys here is the resolution size x and resolution size y guys you need to set it according to your pc build and also i'm gonna guys show you here on my screen right now you can set these resolution according to guys your pc build for low end pc for madden and for the high end pc and also for the competitive players guys you can follow these resolution or guys simply put here these value into these boxes and once you follow all of the settings you can set all the guys resolution here into this game new settings file now you need to scroll all the way down here is the scalability group and guys you need to guys follow all the settings here is the reflection quality this is onto the three right now so 
so you need to set it onto zero and here is the global luminization quality so guys also set it onto zero once you set this value now scroll all the way down again and there guys you will find out this option which is the direct text and the performance mode so be prefer feature level es31 this is actually the performance mode so make sure to turn it on or set it onto the true and next there is the message level set it onto the low meshes or the high meshes according to your personal preference so guys by default it is onto the zero which is the low meshes if you want to set it onto the high meshes so guys change this value onto the one but i will go with the zero for the better fps next here is the ray tracing this is by default onto the false and guys this is all the settings once you guys done all of the settings now you need to go into the file option and guys click here on the save button and guys this is a little bit harder for you to change all the settings so therefore i will also suggest you to download this pack on your pc and simply drag this file here into this folder and guys then you are good to go just you need to change the resolution from here and then you can enjoy the fortnite with better fps with better experience so guys i hope so you love it so please make sure to subscribe turn on the bell notification leave a like on this video and leave your honest opinion about this video in the comment sections so till at the next video peace out